This live action anime style film came first before the actual birth of the anime based on the same character and universe that arrived on our shores in 1994. A sequel followed a couple of years later. With merchandise being a welcome gift, I myself have the vinyl figure kits still after all these years later. I'll eventually start my figure painting channel. I'm talking about a little science fiction film you may or may not have even heard of. Zerum from 1991. This Japanese alien bounty hunter movie I've been rattling my brain on where the first time I saw it was. Then I remembered it was a bootleg VHS tape I found at a store in Pittsburgh back in 92 thereabouts, before it was ever officially released in the States in 94. Good times. We begin with a stark black and white opening of a prison break. Zerum is an alien bioweapon baddie who manages to raise the body count before he heads off into the stars. We pick up on Earth, current time, meeting an intergalactic bounty hunter, Iria, who took the assignment to bring back Zerum dead or alive with her computer sidekick Bob chewing her ear off the whole time. She sets up a temporary parallel universe that mimics her current location, except there are no humans there. This is where Zerum crash lands. Before she can teleport there, she's interrupted and things go awry as two electrical technicians, Tepe and Kamiya, are set to investigate her pinching power. Kamiya fumbles about, causing Tempe to be sent off into the alternate dimension by mistake. Iria goes after him, bringing Kamiya not by choice. This sets off multiple problems along the way as Iria is sent back to current time and has left the two comedic stooges behind. With her teleportation device on the fritz due to the entanglement with a Zerum spawn, Tempe and Kamiya must duke it out with Zerum to stay alive before Iria can make it back. By the way, what electrical company has their techs wear outfits that look like they were better suited for an ice cream vendor? There is some really great costuming here. Iria's suit is particularly cool, and she shows off each part of it and uses it throughout. <laughs> Zerum's costuming may be a bit cumbersome, but when he's in full battle mode, it's quite a spectacle. From producing little hatchlings that grow out into malformed mutants, to one mutant who is only half created and then sasses Zerum only to be stomped out. With a final battle using stop motion and monster effects that are effective in their use and to be honest nail biting to the bitter end, if I had one complaint it was the comedic duo of Tepe and Kamiya that slogged the film down. They do have moments of where they shine, but most of it they bicker and pad things out. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're a fan of live-action Japanese monster soup mayhem, then this might be that little piece of space debris you've been waiting for. Until next time. <laughs> So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support, and hail Cthulhu.